Hello everyone, Akash here. If you're personally thinking, how could you be a good driver? You don't want to get into any kind of accident. You wanted to save money in car insurance in long run and not to get any kind of moving violation. You know, last five years, I follow a few simple rules. I did not get into any kind of accident, no moving violation, not even a parking ticket. You know, it's very important to be a safe driver on the road because over 40,000 people died on car crash in 2017. 39,000 people died on 2018 and 2019 over 38,000 people die on car crash USA alone. If you just simply follow the speed limit on the road, highly unlikely you're gonna get into accident. Think about it, if you get into accident by speeding, what's gonna happen? First of all, you have to fix the car. Your car insurance most likely gonna go up. In future, if you're thinking about selling that car and if they check the car facts on that car and they're gonna see you had an accident, it's gonna depreciate the value of that car. You know, if you get into serious accident, you could be seriously injured in a car accident. That's not a good thing at all. If you're always rushing to get somewhere, you're really stressing yourself, it's not good for you. Also, you know, like you tailgating, you're rushing, it's not good for your car either. Because every time you're trying to rush, tailgating and speeding up, whatever you're trying to do on the road, more likely you're gonna burn up more gas. Not good for your tires, also it's not good for your brakes, and more likely something else is gonna break down on the car and more money gonna come out of your pocket. So basically, if you just give yourself a little bit more time, when you get out of the house, think about it. Somewhere you go, it might take you 15 minutes, just get out maybe 10 minutes earlier. So this way, in case you hit traffic or something, you know, you'll be okay because you know what? I got 10 minutes extra time on my hand, so I could just go relax and chill out. Stuff and I see people speeding on the highway and they're tailgating and they're getting into serious accident that happens so often so if you're on the highway try to keep your safe distance and follow the speed limit on the highway because people don't realize until something seriously happens to them 1.6 million people get into serious car crash because of they're using their cell phone while they're driving and that leads to average 390,000 people getting into seriously injured so use cell phone and you're driving and you're perfectly fine it just takes a second to something to go wrong so never do that. I've been living in New York City for over 25 years and five points. If you're using cell phone and you get caught, five points on your driving license. Driving license has about 11 points. So think about it, just getting one cell phone ticket is five points and you gotta pay for the fees and also it's gonna stay in your record for 18 months. Again, every state could be different. I'm talking about 2021 right now. So if you recently got a ticket or something, you could check it out of your own DMV on your own state and every year sometimes it changes the point system. So you could check it out of your own state that how much points for a cell phone ticket or any other tickets you wanted to check. The last five years, I did not get into any kind of accident or any kind of ticket because I always give myself extra time going somewhere and I always follow the speed limit. And just simply, I follow those two things. And, you know, of course, you have to follow all the rules. Make sure you don't go through red light, don't go through stop light, you know, basically follow the simple rules. And then you're going to see a significant difference that, you know, highly unlikely you're going to get into situation. You know, there's a lot of crazy driver out there you'll find. But if you do your part, you just follow the simple rules and you give yourself extra time, highly unlikely you're going to get into accident or getting a ticket or anything. So be a safe driver, follow all the rules. And this way you're not gonna stress yourself out getting a ticket or thinking about, oh my God, I just got a ticket or I got into accident, then my insurance gonna go up. Just enjoy driving and you know, come home safe. Hope this video was helpful to you. Many great video you'll find in my channel. It's not only about cars, many different ways you could save money and have a financial freedom. Check it out and consider subscribe to my channel. Take care.